You're right, guys. It's Bulbs. This is week two of season four of the Home Draft League, and my opponent this week is Maui Goomba and the Bing Hampton Torracats. Now, just quickly before we jump into the battle, uh, I did a live comp for this. Uh, it was very, very late at night. I'd had a really long day at work, and uh, I didn't want to wake up my housemates. So, um, I am going to try and edit together uh, a lot of the footage that I recorded and just try and make it somewhat watchable, but I was absolutely aware at the time that I was very, very low, uh, speaking very quietly and um, sort of talking more like this, and my thought process was a little bit all over the place. So, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult to watch. I was very tempted to just uh, record a post comment instead, but I think that would be doing a disservice to my opponent. I know that Maui's going to want to watch my live reactions to him uh, battling me, and um, yeah, so we'll, we'll just uh, jump straight into the video uh, with that bearing in mind. Yeah, right, guys, this is Bulbs, and this is week two of the Home Draft League. Now, full disclosure, I am battling both of my week one and week two opponents in the same day. Um, I'm actually going to be battling my week two opponent, Maui, and the uh, Binghamton Torracats before I foul, uh, before I do my week one battle. I'm just going to jump straight away into the team builder for this battle. Uh, obviously, before I do the team builder, I should have said I'm going to run through uh, both the teams. Now, you know my team is Drakefish, Excadrill, Hippowdon, uh, Politoed, Valplume, Heliosk, Houndoom, Ninetales, Skarmory, Blastoise, and Mega Ordino. Uh, you'll hopefully be getting used to that roster in the next few weeks. Uh, my opponent, the Binghamton Tauracats, are rocking with Mega Diancy, Cure, and Blacephalon, Rotom Wash, Zarud. Uh, Bronzong, Donphan, Toxicroak, Zatu, Weezing, and Lickitung. Now, there's one Pokemon here that absolutely concerns me straight off the bat is Lickitung. I can absolutely tell you the only reason that he drafted Lickitung, I would very much imagine, is uh, when he obviously when he faces the uh, the Weather Wizard, the Bulbaranton Wanderers. Um, so that Pokemon is absolutely terrifying to look at straight off the bat. Obviously, he's got the Mega Diancy, which is just a really powerful Pokemon. I've got a couple of answers to it, um, so I'm not feeling too threatened by it, but you know, obviously it's still a very terrifying Pokemon. Same goes for the Blacephalon. I do have plenty of answers for the Blacephalon, so I'm not too concerned about that. Kyurem, I honestly haven't prepped too much for, just because I've only got six Pokemon, and trying to neuter his other threats is scary enough, so I've had to focus less on stuff like the Kyurem, which will absolutely end up biting me in the arse, but, you know. Um... And also, Zarude is a Pokemon that I don't even know if he's going to bring it, but if he does, obviously I've got quite a bit of water on my team. Um, something like Zarude can really do the work um, against my team. Hopefully I've got a couple of answers to that. Um, Toxicroak also concerns me because of dry skin. Uh, I've got a couple of workarounds around that, but they're not the most reliable. And um, yeah, other than that, Donphan's a solid spinner, solid defensive Pokemon. Bronzong's a really good low-tier steel type, and altogether... Uh, I think in the Power Rankings video that we did, I think we uh, ranked Maui at number one. Uh, I'd definitely have him up there as well. Like, he's just a really, really good battle, a really good drafter. And, um, yeah, that is his team. So now uh, we can just jump straight away into the team builder of this um, of this battle. Um, I will say sorry if this whole video seems a little bit all over the place. It's a little bit less thought through. I've got my battle scheduled in about 15 minutes. I've just built this team on the fly, and I'm not feeling too on top of things. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit rambly, but, you know, it's always rambly with me. So, first up, we've got Trinex the Blastoise. Um, I picked Blastoise first because... Obviously, it deals really well with the Blacephalon and the Mega Diancy. They're both good water weak. And yeah, I've got the Drakefish in there as well. Uh, I could have brought the Rain, but um, I don't know. There's just something about Blastoise. Um, I was going to go for a, sh a sh Shell Smash set, but Maui's got plenty of priority, so that kind of wouldn't really work out too well for me. Um, and then after that, I was looking at Choice Scarf, uh, some kind of a Scarf set, just to try and outspeed the Blacephalon and the Diancy. Um, yeah, at first I was thinking about a special set, obviously, you know, go something like Scald and, and Flash Cannon and stuff, but uh, the one Pokemon that absolutely shuts that one down is the Dry Skin Toxicroak, which I think he's absolutely bringing, and that's when I noticed that Blastoise gets Zen Headbutt. So we're going to go, and obviously the uh, physical variant suits the flip turn as well, so we're actually going to go for a physical Choice Scarf Blastoise. Now I'm not going to say I missed a fire set, because this is not a fire set, however, it's an unexpected set. And that's what I absolutely love about draft format. So we're going to bring a physical 
Scarf Blastoise. Yeah, this Blastoise actually deals with uh, some of his offensive threats. I can outspeed at least the Mega Deancy, which I know won't be Scarfed, and the Blacephalon, which probably won't be Scarfed. Uh, Flip Tone gives me really good initiative. Um, obviously, something like a Rotom is a really good switch in for this, but I guess we just Flip Turn out on that and um, and just keep the momentum a little bit. Uh, Iron Tail is there for the Mega Deancy, because I don't think Liquidation is actually a one hit KO, but the Iron Tail is. Um, and yeah, Zenhead is obviously there for the Toxicroak. It's probably like this Blastoise isn't a win con, it's nothing like that. It's just some kind of like his last ditch answer to his main offensive threats, which I don't know how well it's going to serve me, but I kind of also just wanted to bring Blastoise. Um, Next up, we've got Peter Rabbit. Uh, this thing's obviously my main special defensive wall. His two main offensive threats are. Mega Deancy and Blacephalon, which are both special based. I know Mega, uh, Mega Deancy gets Diamond Storm, but I would imagine he'd gone run more of a special set. Um, yeah, this thing's got Wish Protect. Um, if my opponent isn't set up with stuff like, again, gonna keep some mentioning them, um, Mega Deancy and Blacephalon, if they're not set up, then they cannot two hit KO me, which means I can at very, the very least uh, stall them out with Wish Protect Toxic. Knockoff is there for the Blacephalon, also for the Lickitung to get rid of the Evilite. Um, yeah, hopefully this thing can just sort of maybe pass, uh, pass a few wishes on, but for the most part, it's just there to wear down my opponents with the toxic and the knockoff. Um, it's not really counted to many ones, but it's a decent check. Next up, we've got Sid Vicious. You'll see here we've got the Sandrush variant. Um, this thing, to understand, obviously, my opponent is quite weak to a uh, Pokemon like Dracovish. Uh, Vicious Rend under Sand is going to be outspeeding absolutely anything. We've got uh, Psychic Fangs again for the Dry Skin Toxicroak this time, and like Blastoise, we're not locked into one move. Uh, if we can get the Sand up, we'll be outspeeding absolutely anything on his team. Uh, where is it? Here we outspeed. Yeah, anything that is plus one boosted and positive nature will outspeed them if the Sand's up. Uh, Ice Fang is for stuff like these are rude. Oh no, sorry, Leech Life's there for these are rude. Ice Fang, what, what did I even put that there for? Um, at a glance, absolutely nothing. Uh, was it just there for like? Do you know what? I'm gonna uh, stick out rage on there. Nice bit of stab, useful against the cure, and why not? Cool. Yeah, got the lumberry there just in case he decides to bring the rotom to try and counter it and try and will o wisp me, which I do think he might do. Um, something like I would imagine the outrage that I've now got on there will deal with the rotom quite well. I can't really be asked to do calcs, but um. That's sort of how I'm feeling at the moment. We've got the Hippolytoad next to set up the sand. Um, Earthquake for Stab, Stone Edge, because my opponent's got a couple of flying types. Stealth Rock for obviously Hazards and Slack Off for Reliable Recovery. Uh, yes, this is a pretty bog standard powered on set, to be honest. Fully defensive, bit of investment in attack. And um, yeah, Smooth Rock obviously to extend the Sandstorm because... Um, because, yeah, Sandstorm's going to be quite important in this battle with the Sufficious. Next up, we've got Kai Ling. Now, this is a bit of an awkward one. Um, Blacephalon really scares me, and this thing gets Sucker Punch. Uh, Sucker Punch Oko's the Blacephalon, so that kind of makes sense. Iron Tail is there for the Mega Deancy. Flame Charge, because if I'm going for a physical set, which I will do because of the Sucker Punch, um, my only physical fire type moves are Flame Charge or Fire Fang, and Flame Charging might be quite nice to get to a plus one. Uh, Destiny Bond because I've got absolutely nothing to uh, take on the Roton. Like, to be honest, this thing punches a bit of a hole in my opponent's team. The only thing that really hard counters it is the Roton. If we can hit the Roton with a Destiny Bond, um, or anything, if we get to plus one, hit anything with a Destiny Bond, that'll be really, really nice. Uh, hopefully, my opponent won't expect that. Heavy Duty Boots sort of go without saying, and Flash Fire actually makes this also a really good uh, Blacephalon counter, resists both the stabs. Um, and yeah, we can either hit it with a flame charge on the switch or a, or a uh, sucker punch predicting the attack. That might be quite nice. Next up, we've got the Bile Plume. This last slot was going to be a toss up between Excadrill and Bile Plume. Um, if my opponent had Spike's capability on his team, I absolutely would have brought Excadrill. Um, however, looking at Hazard's Toxic Spikes uh, can be removed by the Bile Plume and Stealth Rocks. Don't really concern my team too much. I don't think I'm going to be switching around too much. I've uh, got nothing that's weak to it. We've got Hippolytoad that uh, resists it. We've got Kai Leng with the Heavy Duty Boots. So my opponent wants to set the Stealth Rocks. They'll probably stay there unless his only removal is uh, Defog. I'm kind of okay with that, to be completely honest. Um, so, yeah, uh, is the Vileplume or Excadrill? Excadrill would have only really been there for the hazard removal options, but Vileplume actually gives me a bit of a nice counter to Zarud because Zarud is sort of looking through this team. I don't really have too much of an answer for it. Uh, so Kyleng gets uh, actually gets two hit KO'd by the power from Zarud, which is really, really embarrassing. Um, 
So, yeah, obviously, Paolo Toe is weak to the Zarud, and Peter Rabbit doesn't have defensive investments, so Zarud kind of tears through my team. Um, or Phallus is the only real answer I've got to that. I was kind of hit by the uh, four move syndrome in this. I wanted Aromatherapy because he's got a couple of Will O Whispers on his team. Um, and also, if I don't manage to suck up the Toxic Spikes, then I don't really want my Pokemon to get um, Poison Chip damage at all. So, Aromatherapy was quite important on this, especially since I don't have the Heal Bell on Peter Rabbit. Um, Giga Drain was a really important move because this thing is my only uh, real answer to the Rotom as well. Um, a lot of my the offensive threats on my team deal uh, with the rest of my opponent's team really well. It's only the Rotom that can really do too much to me, which is why I was kind of tempted to bring the Mold Breaker Excadrill, but I think... I don't know, I kind of like Valpham a little bit more. I think it fits a bit better on this team. Uh, Synthesis is there for, reliable, for the reliable and recovery. Sludge bomb. This originally was Leech Seed to try and catch something like the Curum on the Switch. Um, but yeah, Sludge Bomb just allows me to take on Zerud 1 1. So yeah, that is the team. Uh, got a little bit of speed investment in there just so I don't speed tie with the Don fan. I think that might come in quite clutch. Um, I also forgot to say with the rest of these Pokemon. Um, I, because uh, obviously I forgot to mention my speed EVs, um, I powered on outspeeds a jolly Rotom Wash, and once it gets a plus one at Flame Charge, it'll outspeed everything unboosted. Um, and Trinex the Blastoise outspeeds absolutely everything on my opponent's team that's unboosted. Um, if my opponent brings Choice Scarfers, then that does kind of mess with my speed a bit, but I can kind of work around that because his main offensive threats, well, the Blacephalon especially, I do have answers for. Uh, Mega Diancy, hopefully the um, uh, Peter Rabbit can at least switch into it. Uh, Palatoid can switch in on the, um, what's it called? Not Power Gem, you know the one, um, Diamond Storm. And yeah, I can sort of work around um, Mega Diancy, hopefully. And that is the team. Um, like I said, I know that was a bit all over the place, but I think the battle is literally going to be in two minutes. So I'll see you when that starts. Oh, I suddenly got really nervous. I have not done a battle like this in a while, as we are all well aware. Um, of course, I've got my calcs there. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of that, get rid of that. Cool. Ugh, now we wait, here we go. Um, right. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned when I was doing the team build is obviously um, Max Drill does wreck through a lot of his team, but also I feel like he can absolutely over prep for that. So hopefully I've thrown my opponent off a little bit with these Pokemon. Uh, I think you look especially stuff like the Hound Doom over the Blastoise and think like, what is going on here? Um, looking at his team, obviously he brings the Rotom. He doesn't bring the Zerud, which is kind of annoying. Um, I mean, Amorphalus is there for the Rotom as well, but it kind of makes him a little bit less useful. Doesn't bring the Blacephalon, of course. I've over, overly, overly prepped for Blacephalon, and he has not brought it. I mean, I suppose it makes sense, because obviously I've got a, a potential for rain. Um, Toxicroak is really concerning. Who's my lead at this point? Uh, Curum as well is really concerning, because like I was saying, I haven't really prepped too much for this thing. Um, who's my lead? I mean, I suppose Hippowdon can get up rocks. Has he got... Hazard removal options. I think his only hazard removal is Defog in the Rotom Wash. Uh, so that makes me feel a bit better about not bringing Excadrill at the very least. Um, looking at this team though, Excadrill just wins. A Mold Breaker Excadrill would have just won. So maybe the obvious option is the better one to go for in some scenarios. Um, that would be quite nice to just lead off with try and uh, choice scarf flip turn off for a bit of initiative, but I also don't want to reveal the fact that I'm scarfed on turn one. Um, I mean, his lead is probably the bronze on, right? If his lead's the bronze on, then I'll go off with Hound Doom to begin with. Um, I don't have it's really annoying because if he's uh, well, obviously, it will be the levitating bronze on, that means that Power Toad can't do anything to it. Uh, could also just lead off with Sid Ficious if he's going for the bronze on. What's Sid Ficious doing to bronze on? I mean, not really too much. Um, do we just trade rocks? I guess we just trade rocks. Do rocks benefit me at all? I, mean, I know he's got a lot more switch initiative in his team. 
And I know that he likes switching around a lot, so I think the rocks on his side are going to benefit me more than rocks on my side are going to benefit him. I really want to go for Kai Ling, though. What's Kai Ling doing against... Bronzong? I mean, flame charge into Sucker Punch might be decent, I guess. Um, I only have too much of a turn one option, and what's Blastoise doing? Probably not too much either. Yeah, I kind of feel like Kai Leng might be actually quite nice. But I'm going to go with Power Toad. We're going to get our rocks up. He's going to lead off with the bronze on the course. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go. Gonna get my rocks up straight away. He's gonna get his rocks up. No, he's gonna iron defense, and that's not overly concerning. Um, do you get body press? Yes, you do. That's a little bit more concerning. Is your body press doing anything to file plume? Um, let's just go with that, stick on like body press and psychic, yeah that makes sense. Even an unboosted psychic is doing a lot of damage and I'm doing nothing back. Okay, I'm a bit concerned at this point. I'm a little bit concerned. His body press is just going to kill. I mean he's already at plus two. His Body press is just going to straight up kill um, Mega Ordner, right? Even at plus two. Oh, wait, now see, um, before a Mega Up, his body press will kill me. If I can get a Mega Up, that'd be nice, but. I mean, obviously, the answer here is uh, trying to find a way into Kai Leng and then just Destiny Bonding. Like, that's the option. But I just need to, I need to sack something off turn three, or turn two even, I need to sack something off to get in uh, Kyling for free. Now Trinex would have been fun, but looking at his team I don't know if he does too much, I'd rather have Sid Vicious up. So with that in mind, I think I do go into Trinex. Um, and plus two, I'm doing absolutely nothing to him, but whatever. Um, I mean, Sid Fish, is, yeah, Sid Fish is kind of my only Mega Deancy counter. Mm. I mean, I'm sacking something off, right? So I'm going to sack off Trinex. Um, yeah, he's got the body press. So I'm just going to go for a Scarf Liquidation. That's going to do nothing. He's going to kill me. Right. I don't want to go straight away into Kai Leng because that's going to make him think that I've got an immediate answer. So I'm just going to sit this out for 30 seconds. I know that my option is Kai Leng. I just don't want him to think that I've got the Destiny Bond. Um, so I'm just going to play a little bit of mind games and just make it look like I'm uh, thinking about my moves. Have I spent enough time? Cool. Right, now we're going to go into Kai Leng. Uh, we're just going to hit Destiny Bond straight away. If he predicts this and goes for another Iron Defense, then well played. Um, Destiny Bond, Body Press, nice. Okay, well, it's not a 6 at least. Oh. <laughs> okay, balls, I see. Um, I mean, it's 5-4 up. So, um, I'm still not feeling too great about things, but also I do get a nice Sandrush Dracovish out. Um... What am I doing to Rotom Wash? I mean, obviously, if Rotom Wash comes out, then my only real option is to Outrage, um, which just baits out Mega Deancey, so I kind of don't want to do that. Um, I kind of want to bring out Peter Rabbit now. I kind of want to bring out Peter Rabbit now. Uh, I can just get a Toxic off on something, I can begin to stall things down, or a Morphophallus. I mean, what I think that he thinks, like, Dracovish is the obvious choice, and so if, if I'm going Dracovish, you're going Rotom Wash. If you're going Rotom Wash, I want to go a Morphophallus. I've also just realised I brought Synthesis when I brought Sand. 
<laughs> Good job. Um, I really want to get the Mega off on Ordino though. I think that's really key because Ordino on its own does absolutely nothing. Uh, Mega Ordino is a decent switch into the Curum, the Broton, the Mega Deancy. Uh, I need to get this Mega up pretty quickly. So that's actually what I'm going to go for. <clears throat> Rome Wash, cool. Uh, we can Mega Evolve and then Toxic, I guess, or Knock Off. Um, I think his answer is to go into the Toxic Croak, so I kind of don't want to go Toxic. I think I'm going to Knock Off. Um, yeah, you're going to Toxic me. That's I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest, because I've got the... Uh, I've got the aroma therapy at the very least. Um, now we're going to go with the toxic. What do we get rid of? We go to the rocky helmet. Okay. Obviously, we took the rocky helmet damage as well. Uh, you go into the down. See, oh, do you get magic bounce? Don't you? Okay. It's only after the mega. So only after the mega. So toxic this thing. That's quite nice. The annoying thing is, is that my mega dance counter is at fifty-two percent health and taking toxic damage. Um, what's a Mega Deancy doing to my Hipparadon? I kind of don't want to bring Hipparadon out yet. I want to wait for Sandstorm to blow over and then bring it out, because we've worn Rotom down a little bit. I think we're almost primed. We're almost primed for the Sid Fisher Suite to be complete. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit early. I just want to get this thing down a little bit more. Um, so yeah, what's he? It's doing a little bit too much for comfort. Vile Plume, though, is not getting too occurred by a Diamond Storm right now. If, um, so you're going to Mega Revolve straight away and Calm Mind. I'm relatively okay with that, I think. Um, do we have like a Calm Mind set on a pre made uh, thing? Nope. Guess we're making one. Um, Cool. So let's just say they're at plus one special attack, special defense. Uh, okay, good drains. Actually, we're in the sand as well, which will boost this special defense even more. Um, Giga drains still kind of the option. Like the earth power isn't great, but like with the black sludge and stuff, like we can we can kind of work our way around it. I just want to. Ooh, that's not very nice. Sand's going to our special attack. It's not very nice at all. Um, but the sandstorm's gone now, which is great because that means that we can bring it back with a power toad, which is kind of what I want to do now, to be honest. Do we just bring a power toad out now, sack it off, and then see what happens? No, because like, you can still bring in the road on. Um, I mean, I need to keep Peter off it around for the cure room, which is probably going to be choice scarfed. I mean, Drakefish. Where's my piece of paper gone? Uh, Drake of Fish. I need to beat everything at plus one when it's in the sand. So even if that Curum's choice scarfed, it doesn't scare me too much. Um, it's going to be a really quick battle. Quick as in a low number of turns, I think. I think he's absolutely got the upper hand, but I'm still feeling relatively confident. Um, oh, he's got the Licky Tongue. I need, to re I need to remember he's got the Licky Tongue, so I can't rely too much on the sand just yet. Um... What's he taking the next turn? So he's, he's dead in two turns anyway, so I just need to wait out two turns. I want to keep the Immortal Palace for the Rotom, I want to keep the Pound Toad for the Sand, I want to keep Peter Rabbit for the Curum. And also the knockoff of the Lickitung would be quite nice. Um, I mean, your Moonblast is coming anyway, so you're going for a Moonblast. I suppose at this point we just synthesis up over for a misplay. Rotom will just have to deal with another way. Yeah, mystical fire, fair enough. Um, this is not the kind of spot that I want to be in right now. I mean, all we need to do is just survive one turn, right? So go for the protect. That's kind of fine. I mean, if we go for a wish, actually, like, are you killing me right now? Um, 
with the toxic damage, there's a chance that you do kill me right now. So yeah, we're just going to protect up. You're going to go for that, that's cool. Right, it's a 4-0. It's a 4-0. Um, I think if we can get this land up and keep it up, then we win, but obviously Lickitung's there, so we're not going to be able to do that. Um, this thing is definitely scaring me as well. Uh, I mean, Palatoad's the obvious switch, but we're going to go into it. He's going to set up with something, I imagine. Um, yeah, I thought so. But we can just Earthquake and at the very least break the sub. Um, even if this thing sets up with Swords Dances. Ooh, okay, yeah, the Ice Punch is doing nothing. That's quite nice. That is quite nice. I'm just going to keep Earthquaking. That was obvious. Um, uh... I guess at this point we can go back out into Peter Rabbit. Um, he's going to try and toxic me again. That's nice. Go for the wish. Get that up. Uh, now, do we protect or do we knock off at this point? Or toxic? I think we protect just for a bit of longevity. Let's see what he wants to do as well. He wishes up as well. It's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, that is annoying. But whatever. We, we can at the very least toxic the licky tongue. Right. Yeah, I think he's won at this point. Um, I mean, how bulky is a Lickitung exactly? Um, Jesus Christ, okay, that's, that's a little cup, that's why. Um, I mean, we can still go for a Fisher's Friend, I guess. Um, I still want to bring out the Pound Toad, because... I mean, I guess we bring out the pile toad, I guess, and then just slack off. Um, I actually didn't realise that Cloud9, like, always removes the weather as well. I thought it just, like, removed any active weather, but if you throw an active weather on top of Cloud9, it would bring it back. Apparently that's not what happens, so I think at this point I have lost the battle. Um... Yeah, you're going to wish, and then I guess on the protect or the switch, we bring out Sid Ficious. That kind of makes sense. You protect. Oh, this thing nearly died as well. This thing nearly died as well. God, if. Actually, no, there's no way of getting out of that. What's protect doing next? 31%. So he's got a switch. Um, He's got a switch. If he goes into the Rotom, which of course he does go into, my best move is an Outrage. Do I want to lock myself into Outrage? I guess there's no harm in it. Let's see what happens. Cool. So, oh, he's knocked off the Lumberry. That's the last thing I wanted. I was thinking if I get locked into Outrage, then at the very least, um, the Rotom might be able to burn me. Also, the Sandstorm came back. Wow, I really need to learn how Cloud9 works. Um, Lumberry's annoying because, uh, Lumberry being knocked off is annoying because we will get confused uh, when this is over. But, hey, yeah, I suppose he's going to burn me now. Ah, oh, that knockoff was really key for him. Uh, will a wisp it hits? Yeah, that's the game over. That's the game over. That's kind of annoying. I'm going to say it's kind of annoying. I wasn't in the best position to win this anyway. Um, I guess we switch out. Oh, there's the pain slip. There it is. Oh, could you not have let me add a 2 nil at least? Um, I mean, to be fair, this stun edge might do a little bit of damage to Draper, to a uh, thing. Cool. Right. Well, sand's gone, so... Yeah, GG. Um, yeah, it's, it's whatever. Like, yeah, cool. GG. Um, there's the first week. Well, the second week, but the first battle. Yeah, I was I was never in a great position to win this match. Um, Maui is really really good, and he's got a really good team. And yeah, GG though. Um, that's the video.